From the campus studios of Saarland University, this is Ropecast, a lighthearted podcast for learners of English, with Roger Charlton and Peter Tisha. Hi, welcome back to Ropecast. This is Peter Tisha. And I'm Roger Charlton. And this is our 51st episode. Remember, folks, last time we tried to enumerate 50 symbols, didn't get there all the way, and stopped off with talking about the 50 states of the United States of America. Um, there's one thing that occurred to me. This is actually wrong. Roger, did you know that there are more than 50 states in the United States? Well, I know that people often argue ex about exactly how many they are because they keep adding to them and people think, well, what about Puerto Rico or what about Haiti? And uh, no, 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 that's not what I'm talking about. No, there's really more than 50 current states in the United States of America. Well, I think my list goes from Alabama to Wyoming and there's exactly 50 names on the list. <laughs> yes. But I am pretty sure you don't have the state of Calisota on there. No, never heard of it. <laughs> it's a fictional state. <laughs> and this is a thing that I came across, and that is so cool. I found that on Wikipedia, actually. Right. And um, I know some people think you shouldn't document yourself on uh, by using Wikipedia. But this is a really cool list. It's the list of fictional U.S. states. Uh -huh. And uh, Calisota is the state where Donald Duck lives in. <laughs> so it's it comes from fiction, in this case, yeah. comic books, and this is where Duckburg is. Right. Duckburg is, in Germany, that's Entenhausen. Right. So Duckburg is the city that Donald Duck and Mickey Mouse and all that uh, live in. Right. And it's more than that. Then I probably heard it when I was young. <laughs> <laughs> you probably did. Uh, let me test you on another one. You may know this one, Gotham. Ah, yeah, isn't that Batman? Yes, right. So, Batman lives in Gotham City, yeah. and that is in the state of Gotham. So, uh, comic books are actually a good source for new states. Yeah. Well, of course, some of the names of the states were kind of strange in their, in their origin, like Pennsylvania. It's a yeah. strange mixture, isn't it? I know William Penn um, was right. instrumental, mm, right, but then right. the Sylvania sounds... Yeah. A little odd. Uh, I can't tell you the origin of that. What, what I can tell you is that those fictional states are very often sort of, well, takeoffs or combinations of the actually existing states. Right. So, for example, another comic book example, or in this case, animated cartoon example, is Oklahoma, <laughs> which is a combination of Oklahoma and Massachusetts. Yeah know where that comes from? No idea. It's a show that's uh, almost every day on late night British television, so you may know it, Family Guy. I don't. You don't know no. that? Uh, it's a very funny show, but it comes from the uh, original series where the Family Guy hero actually came from. It's from the life of Larry. That's another animated cartoon. But they don't always to take offs on American states, but even funnier things. For example, in a Simpsons episode, you will find an American state of Saudi Israelia. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a future episode. So this is an episode where Bar uh, Homer Simpson goes into the future. Right. Apparently, yeah. uh, they, uh, <laughs> they sort of enlarge the United <laughs> States <laughs> a little bit. And uh, there's even other places where, or other genres of fiction where these come from. Well, the, with utopias, you probably get some other names as well. Isn't there a, a euphoria or something like that? A euphoria, yes. Um, that's actually from a British author. Ah. Um, you know David Lodge? Yes, I do. And he did uh, two novels actually on academic heroes. So you have yeah. a few researchers that change their homes right. while they do... Changing a, places. Changing places, yeah. right. So the British guy goes to the U.S. and lives mm -hmm. in the home of the American, his American right. colleague, and he does that uh, in the state of euphoria, which right. is sort of based on the uh, state of California. Um, so actual serious, or at least, well, high-class novels, invent states. Yeah. Um, there would be parallel examples of counties in Britain that don't exist. Mm -hmm. Don't ask me to find you any from memory, but that would be another thing that people could look into. Mm -hmm. 
But maybe we can put one or two of those on our website. I'm pretty sure there's a list on the internet somewhere. Uh, But just to round this off, of course, we have movies, we have animated cartoons, we have all novels. But one thing also, nowadays you even have video games that invent states. Yes. So Grand Theft Auto, that's a sort of a race game, has invented the state of Alderney, which is based in New Jersey, where the cars race around in, and the Liberty State, or Liberty City State, which is basically based in New York. And those are two uh, states that have been added to those 50 states of the United States of America. It's cool, isn't it? Fascinating. I think that's really fascinating. I think you could rebuild the United States just based on those fictional states. Mm. And with that little future note, let's just leave our listeners and say goodbye. Bye from me too. You've been listening to Ropecast, brought to you by Saarland University, featuring Roger Charlton and Peter Tischer. Tune in for the next edifying episode on your podcast dial.